In this video, I will show you the three best AI content detectors that are coincidentally all free to use. And that's simply because out of the bunch that I tried, the free ones seemed to perform the best. And also, I will run this through some simple examples with which you can actually see that these do really work. And also, I will talk about fooling these AI detectors and how reliable these actually are and whether you could truly use this or not. So we've got a lot to cover. If you want to try one of these products, check the links in the description. So let's jump right into it. So as the first tool on this list, we have Quillbot AI Detector. And as I mentioned, this is free for you to use. And now what I'm doing here is that on the left-hand side, I have some real text samples that I have written personally. And then I also have these AI generated text samples that are entirely AI written. And now first, let me show you how this performs with these. So if I copy paste a real piece of text that I have produced and say detect AI, it is going to take only like a second. And here it says that it's 0% likely to be AI. So it correctly identified this one. Let's test another one. Once again, 0% chance of AI written text. It's good. Let's try yet another one and there we also go so zero percent so it passed all these tests so it correctly identified this to be real human written text then let's try out the ai sample so this one is an ai written piece of text once again here it says 100 percent likely to be ai so it says that this entire text chapter is ai written then we check another ai written text the same thing goes here and then as the last one let's try this one this is also AI written text. And once again, so here it passed all these simple tests. Now, one thing I want to try is what happens if I introduce typos into this view. For example, if we remove the dot here, for example, like this, and let's also remove a dot from here, and let's introduce some typo. For example, let's remove the S from the word questions. So it says questions this could fool these AI detectors. And two years ago when I tried this out, this was able to completely swing the score from 100% AI to zero. So let's see what happens. Yes, so it actually correctly identified this to be AI written despite having these human-like errors here. So that's actually a big step forward. I think that two years ago when I tried this out, these were completely foolable by this simple typo strategy. So I remember when I removed one dot from a piece of text, it already said that, okay, that, that must be written by a human because there is a missing dot over there. But now let's try something interesting. So let's see if I take one of these text samples that I have produced and I paste it to ChatGPT and I tell it to rephrase it in my style. So now we're essentially getting the same information in just different words that is still following my writing style. Well, we can argue over that whether this actually follows the style or not. I think that it doesn't, but for the heck of it, let's just give it a shot. So now if I copy paste that piece of text here and click on detect AI. Oh yeah, so here it is completely able to fool the AI. And here you also see what's the problem with these AI detectors. So even the best of the best, so this is one of the best tools that I have tested. This one is completely foolable by just telling the AI that I want to rephrase this piece of text. So nothing prevents you from going to a website, taking a huge text chapter and telling the AI to rephrase this text in your writing style. And this is also one of the reasons why I recommend not using AI detectors because those are still very easy to fool. This technology simply doesn't work reliably enough for you to rely on it. Then let me show you another free AI detector called Scriber AI. So once again, let's go here. We can paste some text here. So this is human written and it identifies it correctly to be human written. Then let's try with another human written chapter. Once again, 0% AI, it's nailing it all the way. Let's try the third one, detect AI, 0% AI. So that's three out of three correct. Let's see with this one. So this one's an AI written piece of content. It says that it's AI written, so that's right. I'm gonna try the second one. That's also 100% AI written. And let's try the third one. That is also AI written. And now let's actually do the same trick here. So here I have the sample 
where I have written this text. And as I showed you before, I used ChatGPT to rephrase this human written sample in my writing style. We have the same information here, but in different words. And now this is AI written, so it should give me 100% score, right? Well, let's see what happens. So yeah, the same goes here as with the Quillbot detector. So this is entirely AI written piece of content, but it says that it's 0% AI. So for instance, if you're a teacher and you wanted to check if your students are actually doing the homework instead of just copy pasting it from somewhere, you can't rely on this because they can just do this. So they can find the right answer from the internet. They can tell ChatGPT or any other LLM for that matter to rephrase the text. And there we go. We can completely fool these AI detectors by simple tricks like this. Then last but not least, we also have CopyLeaks AI detector. So let's once again try it with these real human written text samples first. Awesome, it says that no AI content found. That is correct. Let's see what this one does. The same thing goes here. So no AI content found in the second sample. What about the third one? And the same one goes here, so that's three out of three correct. Then let's try these AI samples. And that says that most of the content is written by AI, so it's technically pretty much correct, but it's not entirely sure. Then let's try the second one. Yeah, here it says 100% AI written, so that's good. Then let's try the third one. That's also 100% AI written. But now let's give a shot to this ChatGPT rephrased piece of text based on the real writing that I have produced. So this one, let's put it here. Let's put scan. And once again, 0% AI detected, even though this is entirely AI written piece of content. And now let me show you the honest truth about these AI detection systems. I have typed in AI detector into this tool called SEMrush and it predicts that there are roughly 5 million people monthly searching for AI detectors on Google. And now, for example, if we go back to Quillbot, you can see that this is not just an AI detector, but they have all these grammar checkers, paraphrasers, plagiarism checkers, summarizers, translators. They have all these features. And by the way, these are not free. So you can actually see that they have a plan of about $10 per month. If we say that 5 million people search for these products and let's say that 50,000 of those land into this Quillbot AI detector, even if only 1 in 1,000 people started to use these other features and became paying customers, these people would still get like $500 of recurring revenue every single month with a simple free tool like this. And obviously the number can be way higher. They might attract thousands of new customers to their service every year, or even tens of thousands of customers to their services every year with a simple AI detector, just by basically capitalizing on the hype around this topic. And now I'm not throwing any of these under the bus, but all these firms, all these companies, startups, all the marketing teams, they don't care one bit if their AI detector works or not. All they care for is that they get visibility and they get people into their sales funnel to use their product and to pay for their services. 